guys, tonight I jumped in front of the camera really quickly to film a quick, easy, simple brow tutorial using the uh, Ardell Brow Defining Palette in medium. Um, this was requested for me to do by my little sister, so this one is for you. Um, it's basically just a simple, easy way to make your brows feel more, look more filled in, not too dramatically like I normally do them. But yeah, so all I've used is the Ardell Brow Kit and the Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel, but any clear mascara or anything like that will do the same job. So if you wanted to see how I achieved these brows, just keep watching. And if you want to see how I achieved the eyeshadow look, just look for the Bold Gold Inglot tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take is our Ardell brow kit and this is in medium it's a brow defining palette which I'm holding upside down and it just looks like this basically it has two shadows a highlighter tweezers an applicator sponge and an angled eyeliner brush um, I'm going to be using a, this color here you could basically really use any eyeshadow you have that you think is close to your hair color or your brow color or whatever the desired effect is I'm actually going to use the applicator included in the little kit just to show you it is actually workable besides the fact it's tiny and small and you could always go for a larger brush if you're not very experienced I would recommend just because you can only do a little bit at a time so yeah like I said I'm going to be taking this color and I'm going to be taking it on the brush don't mind the um, dirty sleek palette I'm just using that as a um, mirror so basically you want to see the shape of your brow you can add a bit more shape to it but you don't want to like draw on a whole brow so basically I'm going to dip it in just on the end and you can see here like I have a like a ball patch and I have really long hair brow hairs and everything so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to place it I always start where that ball patch is I don't know why I just do because that's what makes me feel like I'm doing it properly if that makes any sense and basically you're just going to outline the bottom of your brow a little bit more product just remember you can always add more product after and then I like this end bit to be a bit thinner so then I take it straight on to the hair and I follow the hair down just like that and then you're going to do your upper line following it along the hairline honestly I would probably just say that this is a brow routine for someone who's new and learning out and doesn't want to like add drastic shape or anything they just want to make them look filled in and look complete if that makes sense to because eyebrows frame your face so well that's what I think so I always like to do my eyebrows and I was requested by my little sister to do a brow tutorial so I thought I would do the basic one and yeah if you want to see the one I used you using the gel liner leave let me know in the comments below so next what I'm going to do is my brows start out a bit too far so what I like to do is take this applicator and dab it right there. Can you see what I've done? Like that. And then literally on that spot, pull it in. Like that. So you can see there's a little bit here that's showing that it's not the right color. So tiny bit there and bring it in like that and then you're just going to take that powder and basically fill in your brow like that so filling it in just checking it doesn't have any blotchy bits because I've been known to do that and leave bits blank so there you go next I'm just going to take any brow gel 
Um, you could use a clear mascara or anything. It all works the same. Basically, all it does is hold your brows in place. Like that. And just place that like that. Remember, your brows are meant to look like sisters, not twins. You're never going to get them to match and look perfect. And I think if you did, it would look unrealistic and really fake. And yeah, okay, we all want to look better, but we don't want to look fake. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any video requests, please leave them below because I'm loving being back in the mood to film um, while my skin is half okay. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.